everyone and welcome to a new session about Azure Container Apps. As you have seen, we have deployed the backend, frontend, connected to SQL, database, Azure Container Registry, and also a key vault. And we have used system assigned identity in order to connect our resources to the Azure Container Registry and to the key vault. For that, every time we need to connect an app, we need to do two links, one for the key vault and one for Azure Container Registry. And since here we have four Azure Container Apps, it means multiple, multiple applications that connect to the same resources, we need to use Azure Assigned Identity for better security approach. Here we, as we need to know that we minimize the effort and we know that our apps will be connected to two resources which is the Azure Key Vault and the container Azure, Store, Azure Registry. So let's go to step by step and create what we have done inside this presentation. First, we need to create the user assigned identity. For that, we need to go here, select the region, select the name that, or write the name that we need to create for our user assigned managed identity. Later, we will assign the roles and access permission for this identity. So let's review and create. We'll wait a few seconds. Okay. And right now, our identity has been created. Let's go to see our resource. Here we have our user assigned identity and what are we interested here is Azure Role Assignment. Here we are going to assign a role to our identity. What we need our identity to do inside our resource group actually is to give it permission in order to do pull requests over the Azure Container Registry. For that, the role I'm looking for is SER Pool. As you can see here, I will save this. Actually, is this still in preview as you can see at the role assignment and it will take some time in order to be seen here in the portal, but it will be actually effective. So in the background, I will add some other roles just to show the difference. And we will see that in a couple of seconds. All right, here, as you can see, I have assigned a role for pull, push, and I have added a role over the scoop, which is the subscription level. Here, as you can see, I have assigned this role. So if I keep this role, it means this identity have the role to do a pull request over any um, any Azure container registry uh, here inside the subscription level. I will remove this. I don't need it. Actually, I need to do ECR pull inside the RG dev containers at R-001, which is the, the resource group that contain our projects. Great. Now, what are we going to do is to go to the key vault. I'm not going to use roles with key vault, but I'm going to add access policy as the old um, system assignment. But right now, I'm, I know my, my identity and I'm going to give it minimal access policies, which is get list and set secrets for our application. Cool. Now we have selected the access policy and here I have assigned the access policy needed for that identity. Great. So our identity right now have all the permissions that we need for our applications. And right now what we need to do is to go to our application. Here we are going to see the old application. We will refresh this page in order to see the, the front end that we have. And here is our old application. For the demo purpose, I will not edit this application because it will be a 24 hour cache uh, that I will not be sure if it will be changed if I update this application with the key vault. So I will rather create a new one in order to see that identity working. As usual, we will choose the container registry. And as you can see here, and we'll see later, from the portal, we cannot 
select the identity at the beginning but using PowerShell we can do it all right here we have chosen our image and we need to select ingress enable it as usual the power is 80 and we are going to create our application great let's wait a few seconds in order to have uh, or apply this use case okay our application is being deployed and done let's go to see our sources and here as you can see how we have our application but we cannot read the secret from the key vault because we didn't set up this inside the secrets okay as you can see in the secrets here i'm going to add a new secret that refers to the key vault that we have i will copy reference from the old application like that we have similar secrets but not using system identity we are using user assigned identity so here we cannot see the identity that we, we have because we didn't um, we didn't activate identity and we don't have system assigned and we didn't add the identity that we have created as you can see this is off and here we need to use the user assigned identity that we have created great now if you go back select here let's enter our secret and the reference from the key vault and here all right and here we add that managed identity that we have created okay the secret is being updated Cool. these secrets can be shared among all the containers that we have but the environment variables are not shared between the containers okay for that we need to edit that container that we have created and here we reference that secret that we have created inside the environment variables so we will tell our container hey this is the secret that i want you to use from the application so we will add that and create our container cool this is a new revision that is being deployed and we will wait it will be deployed soon and we will see the results okay cool let's remove this and let's go and see our results cool great so as you can see here we have the secret and we are reading that secret from the key vault using the user assigned identity as you can see here in secret there was a secret that have been created at the beginning which is contained the admin credential for the uh, azure container registry this is a bad practice i don't want to use admin credential this is not good from security part for that i will use role and use a user assigned identity and i will update that container in order to read that user assigned identity so we will update it from here select managed identity create and later we are going to delete that secret if we try to remove that secret before doing this change that we have done it will not be removed and we will get an error it is deploying let's wait each time we do updates to the container a new version think of it a new version it will be created okay and now let's get rid of this admin credential secret that we have in our secrets we do not want anyone to read this when we do not want to use it okay it's being created now let's restart our revision just to make sure it's reading or pulling that container 
and this is our result so in private uh, browser as you can see our container is being pulled and reading that secret from the keyboard using that user assigned identity now i have four or five azure container apps instead of using system identity different identities i will use only that user identity that i'm now i'm sure of it that is reading and accessing the key vault and have the right to do pull request from the azure container registry thank you and i hope you enjoyed this